I'm getting ready to go on a trip right now. Um, this is the Y connector that basically powers my DC panel. And so I've got, right now, when, when I'm at home, I have it on um, lead acid. And then my lithium battery is only used when I go away. So I keep my lithium at a pretty, you know, like 50 or 60% state of charge. You're supposed to be a little bit lower than that, but I just kind of deliberately store it low when I'm not on trips. And so now I'm headed down to the boat. I'm headed out on, my, on a trip and I need, I would prefer to charge this up. It's kind of like a fuel <laughs> that you got to fuel your boat. You fuel your uh, lithium battery before you go out on a trip. So I'm going to turn this on here. And then um, what happens is I'm short charging right now. Um, here's my lead acid batteries right here. So I'm, I'm trickle charging on this, uh, on this uh, Xantrex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my battery to battery charger and I'm going to turn that on. So right now it's got, right now it's charging. You can actually float it, force it to float, or you could charge it, you know, high charge. So I'm going to do a high charge right now. And um, this is a um, Sterling uh, 60, I believe. And uh, it's, it's right now it took the voltage up there. So I'm packing my boat now. And so I'm just going to keep this thing charging. And it's going to charge. This is uh, my kind of home built charge controller. I can set to, um, I can disable or I can set to low um, charge. And that will stop the charging. If I deliberately want to have a low state of charge, I can set that. So anyway, I'm setting it to a high state of charge because I'm trying charging with fast, as fast as I can. And then when I'm powering out, I could also additionally charge it. So. I'm just uh, packing my boat right now. When I'm charging my lithium, the thing oh, that I'm I charging do. my lithium batteries with the DC to DC charger in the high charge mode, and I'm charging it mainly. It's getting it's hooked up to the battery, my lead acid battery. But um, what I'm doing is I'm uh, limiting the charge on my AC lead acid battery charge to 80%. And I've uh, got an output of around 40% here, you can see. So let's look at my voltage now on my lead acid battery. And I've got 1302. So it's, it normally would be somewhere around 13.8, 13.6 but my um, battery to battery charger is sort of um, being kind and considerate to my other battery. And um, if we were to look at the, um, the lithium battery, we've got 1328. So he's, he's still being charged at 13.28. Okay. So, Let's, for the heck of it now, and, and let's, let me give you the state of charge on the, let's look at the state of charge on the lead acid battery. So, state of charge is 100%, and um, if I look at, he's, he's actually discharging at, Point two. So the battery to battery charger is taking a little bit off of the lead acid battery bank, which is two four Ds. So now let's try a one more experiment and see what happens. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the panel and I'm going to turn 
off the shore charger. So instantly the lead acid battery is going down, right? And you can see that the, the charger is off now, the uh, lead acid charger. But the battery to battery charger looks like it's uh, still on, kind of hard to assess, but it, it's on. But we, we dropped, I think what happened is the, this battery to battery charger did kind of fall off a little bit. It's uh, 13, so I, I think what happened is it stopped charging and now I'm down to 13.2. And on the le on the life on the uh, lithium battery. Now let's go look at the meter on the lead acid battery. Okay, he's just discharging at 0.3, which is probably normal. So when I kill the, what happened is then just in review, I ended up killing the um, the charger over here and then it just took um, it this is a normal fall off on the lead, lead acid battery because um, he's, he's running the refrigerator and it just the charger was smart enough just to say ah forget it I'm not gonna I'm not gonna charge your lithium anymore and because you're not giving me enough voltage to charge so it's pretty friendly that way. So if I was to fire up my, my, uh, my motor at this point, I would, this lead acid voltage would come up because my alternator's up and I limit the voltage just like I limited the voltage over here or the current on the, this shore charger. I have a limitation on my alternator where I run at 50% on this switch here on the Belmar voltage regulator. So um, it, it kind of works in reverse. This voltage comes up, then this guy, he, he, he realizes there's enough to charge and then he charges. And mostly I run in float mode when I'm under power because I don't like to take that much. I don't like to run my alternator that hard and take the horsepower off my motor. So if I'm, I might, if I was in a hurry, run, uh, run this high charge. But uh, if I'm trying to make shower water or something and I want to, get, and, and it's been cloudy, I might run the high charge mode. But mostly when I'm under power, I run the float mode.